right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakudash, that wants to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, teach well, being good as them, such younger brothers, and peace and blessings of all for elect. Well, willing we be a part of that number. All right, I'm the brother Kodal from the g Ben Ben Chicago. We'll come back to another video. All right, this is, uh, you know, going to be speaking on, you know, staying grounded in his faith. All right, keeping the basics in his faith, man. All right, striving lawfully. All right, not getting disenchanted, man. All right, I want to, uh, you know, that's a word I've been meditating on for the past, you know, month or two. You know, this word right here, it says uh, disenchanted. Said disenchanted, no longer feeling enthusiasm for someone or something, not believing something is good or worth doing. All right, and we can't become disenchanted in this truth. All right, we can't lose sight of the goal. All right, we can't lose sight of the goal. All right, that's why uh, you know brothers gotta watch what they, you know, to myself first and foremost, brothers gotta watch what they putting in their spirit. All right, brothers got to watch what they listening to. All right, got to uh, pay attention to what they watch. All right? Because all these things can affect you, man. All right, now, of course, the elect is going to stay grounded. All right, but hey, the scripture says the just man falleth seven times. All right? Hey, so, you know, we always have to uh, keep a scope pay on ourselves, man. All right? You know, in order to lead, all right, you have to lead yourself. All right? In order to get... Others in, in, in order, man, you got to get yourself in order. All right, so I'm going to read this definition one more time. It says, no longer feeling enthusiasm for someone or something, not believing something is good or worth doing. All right, you lost, ultimately, you lost sight of the goal. All right, you no longer see, you know, you you no longer want to take, what what's the car he say, the, uh, the low blow. All right, you're tired of being a base. You want to be exalted. All right, that's not the spirit we gonna we, we we should be in, man. All right, because we we're taking our lashes right now, man, to be exalted later. All right, to to sit with Yahweh Shai and drink wine, man. All right, to be joint heirs, Yahweh Ratzah. All right, so we gotta walk that same walk. All right, and a lot of guys get disenchanted, and the Lord spew them out. All right, it, it's not hard. To, it's not hard to tell, man. Okay, guys, don't you know? Uh, you know, don't do videos, all right? Don't got lessons. Don't got topic for lessons, all right? It, ultimately, where your mind at, man? Your, your mind is not on the Lord because it's, it's a plethora of things to do videos on, man, all right? There's a shit ton of topics to do video on, man. Just like Shikari said, just hop in. <laughs> just jump into battle, man, all right? There's a lot of stuff going on right now. You know, there's no reason... Why you should be in that spirit Ultimately You also not read it You know But um I'm gonna get this Second Timothy's Uh Two And one It says Thou therefore my son Be strong in grace That is in uh, Hamashiach Yahushai And the things that thou Has heard of me That's like Heard of me Among many witnesses the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. No man that warf entangleth himself with the affairs of his life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. All right? And if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned, except he strive lawfully. All right, you read that word striving lawfully. I mean, you go into that word, it means according to the rules, man. All right, so you can't be doing your own thing. All right, you can't, you can't be uh, doing your own thing, man. All right, everything is centered around the truth. All right, guys who get in that spirit of doing their own thing, the Lord spew them out. All right, because ultimately, hey, everything, you know, uh, uh, everything you got from your, your car to your job, hey, that's all to benefit the body, man. All right. Remember the goal, man. That's 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 very important to remember the goal. All right. Like I said, joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. All right, we we're we're going through that same trial. Yahweh Shai paved 
that 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 path, man. All right, blaze that trail. All right, and the elect is following suit, man. All right. And ultimately, if you're not of the elect, all right, hey, there's gonna be a time period where you just fall out. The Lord not deal with you. All right. And you know, guys like that who fall out, you know, you always gotta look at. Ultimately, the Lord didn't want them. All right, but look at what caused them to fall. All right, then you just gotta examine yourself and use that as an example of uh, of what not to be. All right. This is uh, let me get this Colossians real quick. It's Colossians three and one. And if ye be, and if ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. Set your affections on a thing above, not on a thing, not on the things, uh, things on the earth. All right, now let's go into that word uh, affection. It says to direct one's mind to a thing, to speak, to strive for, to seek one's interest or advantage. All right, hey, the kingdom, man. You gotta strive for the kingdom, man. All right, I'm going to read it one more time. It says, to direct one's mind to a thing, to seek, to strive for. All right? We're striving for the masteries. All right? It says, uh, strive unto the truth and to death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. All right? It says, to seek one's interest or advantage. All right? We seeking to be reconciled with our Lord, man. Okay? We seeking to be reconciled with the Lord, man. We hoping the Lord have mercy on us, man. All right, even though we know we can't do enough. That goes into that word tremos. All right, Philippians 2 and 12. All right, knowing that, that nothing that we did can uh, 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 makes us worthy of salvation. All right, but it's of the Lord's mercy, man. All right. Hey, so you help, but may you help by Shemal Shai show mercy to us, man. Lord willing to be of the elect. All right, it says, um, it says, for you are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach in the Most High. When Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory, man. All right, but before that, you got to take your lashes. You got to endure them trials, man. All right, it says in Acts. All right, uh, um, I think it's Acts 14. I'm trying to grab it real quick. I don't want to butcher it. Now. The Spirit wants me to grab it. Acts uh, 14. Uh, one second. Acts 14 and 22. It says, confirm, confirming the souls of the disciples. Give me one second. Turn this way. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. All right. So that that, that got to be the mindset, man. All right. We going through it to get through it. All right. We suffer now to laugh later. All right. Hey, count yourself blessed, man. All right. We understand the mysteries of the Lord, man. We understand who we are as a people. We understand the Lord's name. All right. We understand. We, we know the end goal, man. We know how this place is going to fall. All right, how you how Shah's kingdom gonna be established, man? All right, so it's important not to get disenchanted. Remember the end game, man. All right, also remember what's gonna happen to you if you if you uh, do leave, man, because it's blood in, blood out. All right, it says mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, man. Are right, you going to that word mortify? Goes into necro. All right. Which means uh, death. All right, I'm gonna uh, read the definition. All right, because I put it in the notes. It says to make dead, to put to death, slay, to deprive of power, destroy the strength. Concubuses. It says craving, longing, desire for what is forbidden, lust. This the NIV. It says put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Man. All right. Hey, so ultimately these are the things that's required, all right, to put off. All right, if you want to make it, man. All right, you go into that word lust goes into desire, man. All right, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, these people have fallen out. They desire something else. 
All right? Whether it's a woman or a job or a car or whatever. All right? Anything you put before the Lord is idolatry, man. Okay? Hey, so, uh, the fuck? These people are bugged the fuck out, man. What the fuck is this bitch doing, man? Dumbass bitch. It's a lot, kid. Uh, I'm reading one more time. It says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication and uncleanness, and order of affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, man. All right, Salaki, these people demons out here, man. All right, um, Lord got a judgment for them too. It's uh, Matthew 6, and that's another thing. We know the judgment for the wicked. All right? Uh, Matthew 6 and 19, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and not steal, nor steal, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, man. All right, so whatever you deem is important, all right, that's going to always be on your mind, all right, and it's going to show what, 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 um, whatever, and, and what you talk about in your actions, if all you're talking about is money, bitches, your mind is in the wrong place, man. All right, when brothers get together, you know, of course you have a good time, you know, but it, it's all it always got to be spiritual. All right, even before the folly, man. <laughs> all right, got to be spiritual, man. All right, our conversation in the heaven. All right, where two or three are gathered, there am I in the midst of, man. All right, the Lord is in the midst of. Okay. Hey, so we're not seeking for a, uh, a incorruptible crown. All right, this dude, this dude was a champion for seven years. Five title, six, five title defenses, man. Undefeated. That shit won't matter in the kingdom, man. Oh, LeBron got five rings, four rings. All right, MJ got six rings. All right, and you won the championship the next year. You, you going to play again for that same championship, man. That shit, that shit is folly, man. Hey, the crown that we gonna hear from you, how about you know Shiloh, willing to be of that number? Nobody can take that away from us, man. All right, hey, these people gonna be peons in the kingdom. They gonna be shamefaced, man. All right, everlasting shame. They gonna, they gonna always have it in the back of their mind. Damn, I fucked up. All right, this is uh, Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High, man. This thing ain't for you. Ultimately, you ain't count the cost, man. That's another word. That's another uh, definition for the word reprobate. All right, goes into unfit. Okay? It's like you want to sound across the street real quick. One second, one second, Bible shout. All right, it says, uh, let me read this, Luke. This is Luke, uh, so like, this is Luke 11 and 12. That's like 24. It says, when an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and findeth none. He saith, I will return into the house from whence I came out. All right, hey, these demons flee from you once you enter the truth. All right, they always try to come back. All right, so that's why it's important to stay grounded. That's why it's important to, to uh, know the end game, man. All right, keep always meditating upon the Lord. Keeping uh, how about Shemal Shai on your mind, man, all the time. All right, because the word demon means intelligence. All right, it says he see, he's as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. All right, so say knows your little, uh, your, uh, your gray areas, man. All right, say knows how to get to you, how to use people to get to you, how to use your, 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 your people at your job, the people in your household to get to you, man. All right? How to make random events happen to get to you. That, that's his goal, man. All right? But if you solid and you you understand what's going on, hey, you're going to be you gonna be straight. All right? Hold on, give me one second. All right? Because you, you keeping the Lord on your mind, man. All right? That's why it's important to stay grounded. Always keeping the Lord on your mind. It says, uh, verse 25, and when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. It says, um, 
Then go of he and take him to himself seven other spirits, more wicked than himself. All right, so he didn't, he didn't, uh, <laughs> he didn't brought seven other demons stronger than himself, man. All right, what uh, the elder Kapari and our camp pops always say, doing a Watusi in your head, man. All right. It says, um, and they enter in and dwell there. So they live in there. They having a whole party in your head, man. And the last day of that man is worse than the first, man. All right, that's why you see, why, that's why you see the Lord bugging uh, the, uh, people who used to be in the camp out. He's bugging them the fuck out, man. They they no longer have that edge, that hedge, man. They don't. They no longer have that protection over them. It's a free fall. All right, brothers always tell that story how the um, uh, you know, it was one guy in the truth. Now he's into dating uh, transformers, man. All right, you got hey, the Lord is bugging these people to fuck out, man. All right, hey, so I'm gonna read this word, this is chanting one more time. It says, um, no longer feeling enthusiasm for some. For someone or something not believing something is good or worth doing. All right. Hey, so um, Lord willing, we be of the elect and stay grounded. All right. I want to give all praise and glory to you. How about you, Mount Shai, about you, Kakodash, that want us to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the full elect. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Shalom. Wakwam Yasharal.